biggest game, Super Bowl, biggest games are lives because the next one, right? Can't play the next one without this one. You know, I'm awful proud of everything that we've done this year in regards to what we've overcome. It's not like we're, you know, at Auschwitz and we've overcome, uh, <laughs> but I'm talking about, we've had, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, is where's Big Joe? Is Big Joe the only offensive lineman that started every game at the same position? Am I right here? Okay, so we've had a lot of different deals, a lot of different combinations, and uh, a lot of different people on defense. Well now, I think, other than Angel and uh, Joseph, everybody's back, right? And it's, it's perfect timing. I said it last week, and I really believe at this time of the year, some to ev everybody has different degrees of how much they want to win. Now, we've been talking about this for since we got here. We'll win a state championship, but we can't just jump to that game. We've got to get to it, right? We know what we want. We know what our goals are. And we're going to find out tomorrow night if they want it as bad as you. Maybe they do, but we're going to find out if they want it as bad as we do. And, and Nate sent me a deal, the same thing when I first got this job. The only goal, the only true travesty in life is not to become a saint. Well, I want to amend that a little bit, okay, because we are saints. The only true travesty in life is not to win football games when you're a saint, okay? <laughs> because we actually, we actually should win every game we play in my mind, right? This is who we are. We want to be champions. We come here to be champions. We come here for first-rate experience in education, religion, and football. Okay? It's who we are. It's what we work for. And if we do that, like I said last week, there's no possible way we can lose. All right. Let's go. It is the quarterfinals of the 5A state playoffs. On the eastern side of the bracket, the number two seeded Seaman Vikings playing host to the third seeded St. Thomas Aquinas Saints. There is the boot, low line drive kick. Backing up and fielding it at the goal line is harder, and he's going to run it out. But he is stacked up, going nowhere, tackled for no gain. Tackled for a loss on the play by the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints. That's number 38, Dan Bullig. Throws deep down the middle. He's got a man late. Wide open and in for the touchdown. Jack Morrissey. The bolt is down. Kick is away. And it is good. And nothing doing there. And the give is to the fullback in a big hole. That's Drew Hicks. He's getting outside. Across the 35, 40, 45. And brought down from behind as he crosses the 45-yard line. Wide open, big hole. And that is Hicks. He's down the sideline, 20. And piles it out of bounds. What a big hole and a touchdown run for Drew Hicks, the junior fullback on the eight-yard run. Like a hot knife through butter, the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints down the field and into the end zone for a second time. Kicked up and through by O'Leary. And fights off one tackler but can't fight off the rest of them. Deep. He's got a man throwing him behind the defense. That's Tristan Davis. Tristan Davis from Will Swanson will go in for the touchdown. A 74-yard pass. Snap will 
Pulls down, kick his way, and it is good. Sets up. Wanting to throw, can't. Now he's going to be swarmed down by a host of Saints. The entire Thomas Aquinas defensive line getting in there by the end. That's what you call a coverage sack. Cowley getting around the end. Stood up and just driving his legs through a would-be tackler. Just going to keep it himself. Swanson, big hole. Throws, got his man, wide open, all the way down to the five-yard line. That is number six, Mason Howard. Swanson takes the snap, quarterback sneak, pushes forward, and leans in, it looks like. Yes, he is in. Touchdown. Now he's got to be bailed out. He's going to be sacked. Sacked by Ryan Jerzek back at the 40-yard line, and that is a huge momentum shift. And there's a the pitch. Outside, and there he goes. John Schneiders into the secondary and brought down at the 48-yard line just across midfield. They're going to throw it deep down the other side. Open man coming back for it, making the catch for Aquinas at the 11-yard line. And going down, that's Nick Bully. Get right up the middle. Wide open hole, diving into the end zone. That's a touchdown for the Saints. Picked up and through. O'Leary puts it in. Stood up and driven back. Steven Rode in the Senior nose tackle leads the charge for the Aquinas defense. Johnson, play action, looking to throw. Fires, he's got a man deep, it's caught. Mason Howard with the big catch. 3.2 seconds to play in the half. It's going to be about a 42 yard attempt for Joe O'Leary. is very good, even from this distance. The kick is away, and it is. Just over the crossbar, what a kick! 42 yard field goal from kicker Joe O'Leary. He puts it through and the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints take a 37 to seven lead into halftime here at Seaman High School. If you want it more than they do, then it'll happen. Every single guy that's gonna step on the field tonight has done what it takes to get us to the next game. I firmly believe that. Make it come true. Running it out is Davis. He gets across the 20, 25, spinning his way up to the 28 yard line. Davis trying to get around the end, does 40, 35, and brought down hard at about the 30 yard line, falling forward. Quarterback keeper, that's Swanson across the 15, 10, 5, into the end zone, touchdown, St. Thomas Aquinas. Joe O'Leary puts it through. Down by a host of St. Thomas Aquinas Saints, including freshman Matthew Roberts. And he loses the football, ball on the turf, St. Thomas Aquinas will recover it. That's the sophomore fullback, Cameron Jackson. Wide open into the end zone. Touchdown, Grant Cowley, senior tailback on the option pitch. Takes it four yards in for the score. Snap is good, hold is down, kick his way, and it is good from O'Leary.
steps up, fires, even it deep, he's got a man! It's gonna be caught deep in Seaman territory! Down to the 27 on the deep throw and catch to Clayton Efforts. Jacob Huntsberger on the carry and he brings it up to the 20 yard line. Just saw a hole and took advantage of it. That's Tate Rabowen, the sophomore quarterback. All the way through and into the end zone. That is Cameron Jackson, the sophomore fullback, running it in for the score from 14 yards out. And St. Thomas Aquinas pours on another six points. and another kneel down from Rabowin, and that'll do it. Your final score at 810varsity.com. The St. Thomas Aquinas Saints move on to the state semifinals. Your final score, 57-21. to St. Thomas Aquinas over the Seaman Vikings. Hey, we're hitting it at the right time, right? We're hitting it at the right time.